Good evening everyone. Welcome to the Write HTML program video series. Today we will see program number 5 that is based on forms. So here is your question. Write HTML program to create a form to accept student's name, number of practicals he had completed and provide a facility to upload his completion certificate. तो आपको एक छोटा फॉर्म बनाना है जिसके अंदर स्टूडेंट का नाम पूछना है और नंबर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल्स उसने जो कंप्लीट किए उसका नंबर पूछना है फिर अपलोड करने के लिए एक फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करनी है यानी आपको एक कंट्रोल देना है जिसकी मदद से सर्टिफिकेट या कोई फाइल अपलोड कर सकते हैं सो लेट स्टार्ट विद नोट So here we begin. First, it's your doc type tag that is your declaration tag for HTML. And next comes your root element. Then also add the HTML closing tag. Then define your head section. And body section. Now in head section we'll provide one title. So we'll say the student info form. Okay. We can provide one heading. Again here also we'll skip the same heading. Student info form. Now to design the form, we have to start with form tag. Provide a name for the form. then provide the method how you are going to send the form to the to the server then there comes the action attribute in which we can provide the name of the file that is going to handle the form data so this is not compulsory for at pop for your exam point of view just put the name and keep the default method to hum pehle file ko bhi save karte hain we will save the file with the name program 5.html under practice folder on desktop okay and save as type will be hypertext markup language so here we have saved the file so let's begin with your form so the first field is students name so first we'll create one label for it we'll write students name as mentioned in the question and we'll create the control for it so we'll be using input tag then provide type attribute and the type attribute provide type equal to text since we want to create a text box then provide a name for this control to so write the name as student name okay so this is how it looks next control now we'll keep two line break here space of two lines ताकि आपके कंट्रोल्स मिस एग्जैक्ट वर्ड से प्रॉपर स्पेस इज मेंटेन नेक्स्ट है हमारा नंबर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल्स ही हैज कंप्लीटेड सो विल पुट द लेबल नंबर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल्स कंप्लीटेड और इसके सामने इसका लेबल देंगे तो जगह का मैं तो लेबल सॉरी कंट्रोल नीचे रखते हैं input type equal to number provide a name for this so we'll say practical number practical n now when you're using input type equal to number to always use this min attribute to so min mein hum min equal to 0 add karenge max to diya nahi question mein to min equal to 0 likhenge nahi to negative value bhi enter ho sakti hai is control mein Next again, we'll put uh, two BRs for two line breaks. 
Next will provide a facility to upload his completion certificate. Now in HTML5 to upload a file in the form, the control used is input type equal to file. So first we'll give a label. We'll say upload certificate. Then provide the lay control for it. Input type equal to file and provide a name for this. We'll say upload CC completion certificate. Here comes your third control. Now next remaining is your input type equal to submit button. So we say input type equal to submit. Value is not required by default, it will show you submit button. And also put two line space after the upload certificate control. So this is I think your question solution is ready. So for creating form, we start with the form tag. We provide a name to the form. We provide a method. Default method is get method. We are providing the post method. Then in action attribute, we have to provide one file name that is a script file name that is going to handle. Here I am writing this response.php. So you can also write just fictitious any name of script file name. Then your label student's name, then the control for this that is your input field, input type equal to text that will create a text box. Then we are keeping a two line space here. Then next field is number of practicals completed. Then we are creating a text box that can accept only numbers. So for this we are using input type equal to number. We are providing a name for it that is practical number. Then we will also provide the attribute mean that will specify the minimum value that can be entered in this control. Again two line brick then upload certificate label then a control for uploading file. So that will be input type equal to file and provide a name for it. Then finally your submit button, then form close button, sorry not form close tag, then body close and HTML close. So we save this and let's check the output. So go to practice folder and just open program 5.html. So this is the output has come. We can write, see, we cannot enter any negative value here because min is given. But for upper limit, you can enter any value. So this writes a 5 practical so which is a file. So here we can just for practical sake, I'll just click this file, click open, and click on submit. So it will go to that response.php. Here we do not have the script file. So it's completed. If you want to display something, then we can also use a um, website address for this response dot php. So I've already created one uh, script file response dot php that collects the data from form, and the uh, response is given in the form of whatever data is submitted. So let's see whether this works. So we again refresh the form and again we enter the data. File tactical, we choose one file from here and click submit. So here the data goes. Let's see. The file, the, sorry, the form data goes to the script file that is response.php, which is on exa.in web server. From there, the form is processed, that is, form data is collected and uh, you get the output here. Okay. So this is how your form works. Uh, this is the solution for this question. You can take the screenshot for this and try it to your level. So zoom this. Here is a complete solution for this question.
take a screenshot thank you very much see you in the next video